Hi there, I'm Sandy Alnock, and today I'm going to be testing out some paper that was recommended to me and creating this page, Consider It All Joy. Someone suggested this Tomo or Tomoe River paper, and they found it on Amazon and asked me what I thought of it, so I bought a pack to see, and it's very Bible-like. It's not Bible paper, but it's pretty darn close and will make a great tip-in that isn't really thick. That's one of the things I don't like about tip-ins is that they end up so thick that your Bible automatically opens to that page because it's like this big thing sticking out. And think about it, if you put a hundred tip-ins in your Bible, you're going to end up with a hundred extra pages in your Bible. It's going to be a really big, thick Bible and yeah, it may not close. Who knows? So I like the idea of at least having thinner pages to do that. And this is about the same thinness or thickness, I guess you should say. So I decided to do a watercolor test. It's eight and a half by 11 paper and my Bible is six by nine. So I have lots of room on either edge that I'm gonna be able to cut that off. So I did tape it down to a board because I wasn't sure whether or not it would wrinkle a whole lot and that sort of thing. So I put some blues down on here and I started with dark at the top and worked my way downward and started deciding to spray. So I thought I'd see what would happen if I sprayed this and how badly would it wrinkle and how much of a mess might it make. And it wasn't actually too bad. It was really a cool texture that the, the paint made as it dripped down the page, which was pretty awesome. I think there's gonna be a lot of different fun techniques that could be used with this paper to do all sorts of really beautiful things. It got a little bit lighter at the top as all the paint collected in the rivulets. So I decided I would add another layer of paint to it. And I added it while it was wet just to see. I didn't wanna wait until it was all dry because I wanted to retain that look of all this drippy paint. But I just threw some extra color in there and then tipped the board again and you know just let the color run. Do a little spraying if you need to. You are going to use a lot of paint with this kind of an idea, so be prepared for getting lots of paint on your paper. And I was debating whether or not the words that I wanted to put in this would be on the, you know, would, would this blue be dark enough or do I need to add something else? And I was debating that as I was thinking through this because the page, all Consider It All Joy, is one that I've been wanting to journal for a while. And in my Bible, I've already journaled something on that page, so I needed to do a tip in for it. That's why this one was perfect, because I've been wanting to do basically a stormy sky. Consider it all joy, like everything that God sends your way, everything that Satan sends your way, everything that everybody sends your way, everything that the human condition sends your way. Consider it all joy. Because God's going to get you through it. He's going to teach you through it. He's going to use it in your life. He's going to use it to bless other people through you. Consider everything joy. So even though I've got this like wacky storm, and then I wanted to have a dark forest down here at the bottom and see what that would be like to paint a couple layers of the black to try to get it nice and dark. How is that going to work on this paper? And it worked fairly well. I was quite impressed. And as I started doing the, um, the blow drying of this with my, my heat gun, you could also use a regular blow dryer, I assume. I have this heat gun in my studio. The right hand side is all dry and it's very flat. This paper does dry flat. It looks like it's got all these, this texture to it, but it, that's just the rivulets of paint collected. And the paper itself is actually quite flat. It didn't really need much in the way of ironing, but it did get shiny. It's definitely shinier than Bible paper, so it's a little bit different in that way. And so it's going to have a little different look if you were to do a bunch of tip-ins with this paper. But it's about the right thickness, and it feels kind of Bible paper-ish other than the shine. So it's pretty good. I would definitely be able to recommend it. And the it could even be the same paper that my book is printed on, possibly. I don't really know because uh, I don't know the name of that paper. But anyway, I cut it <laughs> with my paper trimmer, a little bigger than my page. And then I, you know, trimmed it down. So I just kept lining it up and trimming off another hair and another little eighth of an inch, that sort of thing. And then I used my paper corner rounder 
to round the two outside corners so it will fit perfectly in my Bible. And then I took a white pen and I did my lettering. Consider it all joy. And look at those beautiful textures on the paper. Isn't that pretty? There's all different kinds of things that you can do and none of them are going to come out the same. They're all going to be different. So there you go. For this one, I ended up putting the super sticky tape on the inside edge and then lining up the outside first and then I could press the paper, the, the glued side in there. If you put the glued side in first, that double stick tape that I use, the Be Creative tape, sticks so hard and so fast you can't pull it back out. So you want to make sure you get it in place before you seal it down. But there you go. There is the page that I did. And you can see it's a little bit shinier than what normal Bible paper would be, but I still think it's worthwhile. So there's a link in the description for the Tomo River paper. I guess that's how you say it. If you're interested in grabbing a pack, they're not expensive and you get a lot of sheets so you can mess up a lot, which I did too. <laughs> I'll see you again next week. Thanks. Bye-bye.